Hey friends, in today's video we're going on an adventure. And by adventure I mean my friend Donya and her dog Priya and my dogs and I head to the Anza Borrego Desert State Park and we test out my new A-frame style camper. So much to say and so little time to do it, but don't worry, I'm gonna be covering all of the ins and outs, all of the adjustments that I'm making and all of the things that I'm doing. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and don't miss out on future content. But that's enough of me yammering on, let's get to the campground and I'll see you guys later. I made my way into the desert with hopes of testing out my new A-liner style camper. This was the maiden voyage, so I wanted to get a feel for anything that I needed to work on before I leave Southern California. This short trek was the turning point for me learning how to navigate with the trailer, starting to understand the limitations of where I can go with this trailer, and figuring out how everything works. boys how cool is that Woo! I got my drink I got the chips and meats and we're gonna have a good time hey what are you barking for okay, Donya cheats. That's okay. this is lighter fluid and duraflame <laughs> she's determined to get this started <laughs> Being surrounded by great friends like Donya is a special treat to me out here. Over the last year, I've been blessed with being around my friends and family a good portion of the time. While I have spent a lot of time alone, it's important to appreciate the moments where we are surrounded by those who love us. While I don't typically struggle with loneliness, there are times when I really appreciate the company. Having friends who are like-minded with this lifestyle is really special to me, and it makes these moments so much more fulfilling. <laughs> what are we barking at? <laughs> Guys, this is such a perfect night. Perfect night. It's kind of cold. It's still winter, but um. Getting this new little home on wheels means so much to me. While I've loved my time living in a forerunner full time over these last two and a half years, I was ready to spread out and have some more living space. I know there's tons to learn about this new arrangement, but that's part of the fun. It's nice to have a place to separate from the outdoors, and I still have the ability to live out of the forerunner. So if there's a place I want to go explore, all I have to do is unhook the trailer and Chalupa and the dogs and I can get back out there. We're gonna hit the pit soon because I'm getting tired. What a great first night. After spending the evening inside the camper, it's hard to remember that for the last two and a half years, I lived in a forerunner with very little comforts. This camper offers something so much more than a place to live. It offers a sense of peace. For the first time since I've had the truck camper, rain doesn't impact my ability to be comfortable. It appears that my morning routine is very similar to what it was in the Forerunner, but now it's in my camper. After the dogs get some cuddles, I let them out and I make my bed. 
I'm one of those people that can't start the day without a freshly made bed. And then I make some coffee and have some quiet time with Jesus. After that, I'll make some breakfast and get the day going. Good morning. It's super rainy and wet and gloomy and damp and cool this morning. It's actually really interesting because the mountains behind us got snow, you guys. It's incredible. And I'm so glad that there's a break in the weather for a few hours so we can get out there and see it and enjoy it and not be stuck inside. And I will say that it's super nice to have a space like this for when it rains because before I was stuck in the forerunner or in the gazelle tent or under the awning and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm loving this new setup <laughs> you know every setup is gonna have its pros and cons and each person's gonna have their different perspective on what is a pro and what is a con and you know for me and my family we've decided that this is worth the limitations but I will say that this little guy behind uh, the forerunner that we're in right now did pretty good on some of these bumpy roads. So <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to limit us as much as I think it will. I think that there's going to be situations where I'm just going to have to detach the trailer and go off-roading if I want to. But, you know, that's okay. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm not in a position where I can afford one of those really cool off-roading campers. So, you know, for what's in my means, this is a really awesome opportunity for the dogs and I to enjoy our time on the road a little bit more and add some longevity to this lifestyle because I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out with the space and the dogs with the forerunner setup with the platform and I'm the kind of person that likes change so I'm good with it but I'm making some coffee Donnie's getting up making some breakfast and so I'm gonna have some quiet time with my my father my Jesus and uh, and then hopefully it'll clear up a little bit so we can get some really cool photos and video and, and just go explore Right now the wildflowers are in bloom, so we're going to go driving around to try to find some of those beautiful flowers and yeah, see what the day brings. <laughs> I'm so happy. We're making breakfast, drinking hot chocolate and coffee. The sun's coming out! to Coyote Canyon and the flowers are just not very flowery. I feel like either we're too soon, too late, it's not happening, not really sure. The cool thing about this area is if you don't like the weather, just drive 45 minutes in any direction and it will be something different. I wonder where I'll land next. 